All right, so we're picking up where we left off here. Now what we're going to do is model down this uh, lower part right there and um, get the rest of these little details done. And we'll go ahead and knock that out in this video. So we have to create this sort of shape that goes underneath where this uh, speaker actually sits in. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me go into a front view here. What I'm going to do is actually pretty, pretty simple. I'm going to go and create a curve. And I'm going to take off point snapping there. I'm going to leave grid snapping. I'm going to snap here. And I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to exit tool. Now we need to go ahead and fix this up. up this curve let's see how that is it's actually pretty flat pretty flat down here and then it curves out down there okay if they shoot she off So it's going to be something something like this. I think it's going to work pretty good. Okay. Let's bring this out over here. Now, let me freeze model on that curve. We're going to take this curve here. We're going to go ahead and duplicate it and scale it negative 1 in the X. So let's select these guys. Let's go to Create, Curve, Merge. Select those top points up there so it creates a new curve. And let's delete the original. And that looks like it'll work. Select that curve and freeze modeling on it. And I'm going to take this curve now and I'm going to go to create poly mesh, curves to mesh, increase the amount of contours. I'm going to go to extrude and I'm going to give it some extrude here. And let me see what the distance at. It actually takes up the whole width right there. I'm going to extrude that to a good amount. Something like that is good. There's a little bit of a soft bevel right there, so let's go ahead and imitate that. Let's go to bevel. Take the sampling step all the way down and give this some depth. So we end up with something like this, which actually looks really good. And everything looks nice, so back looks really good too. It's looking real nice. Let's close that. I'm going to take this object, freeze modeling on it, and I'm going to move it back. You can see it's a little bit behind this part right there, and you can clearly see that right there. So that's what I'm actually going to do with this one. Let me put it right there around the middle. So that part's done down there. I'm going to take this curve and delete it. Don't need it anymore. Make sure you save. All right. 
Let's very quickly make these little knobs right here, which are going to be incredibly easy to do. All we need to do is create one single uh, cylinder. Flip it over on its side. Take off these subdivisions and increase, increase these subdivisions to about 24. And let's bring that down. Scale it down. We need something that's got pretty much that kind of a diameter right there. So let's go into the front view, move it into position here, scale it up, have a look at the distance here, here, and down there. You can see it's going to be something that's placed something like that. Scale it in a bit, push it into the uh, object here. And let's actually push that in a little bit like that. And there we go. It's pretty much done. Let's grab this right here. Control D to extrude it in a little bit like that. Now let's take all of these edges here. And let's go ahead and bevel that. So it looks nice and round on, on the top right there. Perfect. Let's just create this one and that one over there. That's going to be very, very easy to do. Let's just go to the front view. And with this one selected, let's duplicate it. Move it over here. Scale it down a little bit. Let's take the big one and extrude it. Move it over here. It's actually bigger, it's a real big one. So I'll extrude it and make it much bigger. Kind of center it right there. And there we go. So I do think that these buttons need to be pulled out a little bit more. Something like that might work. Edit that out of the video. Let's open up our reference image over here. Let's see what we got. And we it looks real similar to what we have. Very, very similar. Okay. Let's go ahead and detail this up a little bit. Let's add these little divot things right here, which are gonna be real easy to do. Check this out. Let's take this guy right here. Let's duplicate him. Scale him down. And it's going to go into corner, 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 and corner. Which is really easy. Just place it about right here. Now we only need half of it, so let's go ahead and delete, delete half. Hit Y to select half of the polygons and delete them. Scale it down a little bit and just place it right here on top of our object. Let me make it a little bit smaller and now We'll duplicate it and actually let's take it. <coughs> let's duplicate it and move it down here. So it makes this lower corner. And then we need two more for down here. So we're going to duplicate it again and we're going to place it about, let's see. Yeah, right there is actually pretty good and right there okay that's good I'm gonna take that one that one and that one make sure I'm not missing any others no I'm not and alt right click 
We're gonna go to merge. Merge into one object. Take the tolerance off. Delete the original. And I'll alt right click and I'll go to symmetrize to make the ones on the other side. Okay. Now I still have to make these little details here, these four little objects, which are gonna be really easy to do. Watch this. Let's go to primitive polygon mesh and I'll create a torus. I'll flip this torus onto its side 90 degrees. Come over here. Scale this guy down. Increase the amount of subdivisions in both axes. Okay. And it has to be real small right here. See that? So I'm going to scale it down. Place it right here in this corner, kind of below this one at an angle. So just take it and place it at an angle right there. Okay. It's a little bit bigger than that one. We can change here the cross section parameter to make it something like this. So I'll make it something like, I think like that is fine. Again, We don't need half of the polygon, so let's uh, go ahead and save some of our polygons here. Delete that. And let's go ahead and just push it in to about here. That's good. Now we need one more up here, and then we'll symmetrize. So let's go ahead and do that. Take that one, duplicate it, move it to about up here. Let's see, yeah, about up there is good. Right there. Now we'll shift select those to Alt right click, merge them into one object, knock the tolerance down, delete the original, freeze modeling, Alt right click, symmetrize it to get it on over to the other side. Now, if we compare the two, we have something that's very, very similar. But there's one problem. This part is all faceted and looks all nasty and jagged edged. So what's wrong? Well, we need more geometry. So how can we upress that? It's actually a very neat way that we can do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take this guy here. I'm going to go up here to isolate selection. Freeze modeling on that. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to select that right there, Alt, select that, okay, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to split edges with split control, push this back to the point where it's really, really close, like that, okay. I'm going to select this edge, Alt, select this edge, Alt, middle click that edge, right click, I'm going to mark hard edge vertex there, okay. Now let's go in here, I'm going to grab this edge here, Alt, middle click that one, to select that entire loop all the way around, right click, go to mark hard edge vertex, And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to select those edges right there. So I've got this loop all the way around. See that? I'll right click. I'm going to go to mark hard edge vertex there as well. Okay. 
And now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and hit isolate selection here. I'm going to select this guy here. We're going to go down here to create polygon mesh subdivision. And we're going to increase this subdivision. We're going to hit hide. And we end up with this nice uh, smooth out version right here. See how it's nice and smooth? Let's increase the subdivisions to about two. And I think two is going to be real good. Okay. Now we're going to hit delete to get rid of the the original one. Now we render that. It comes out nice and smooth. We don't have that nasty faceting anymore that we had before, which is uh, perfect. All right. Last but not least, have a little bit of jagginess on the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. I'm going to take this guy here. I'm going to go modify freeze all transforms. Freeze it again. I'm going to select that polygon. Select that one there with the Alt to range select. I'm going to right click. I'm going to bevel that. Uh, I'm going to bevel it a good distance. And I'm going to give it about two for a rounding. Now when I render that out, it's nice and smooth the way it should be. It's perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'll right click, bevel. Got that distance all the way up and give it about two subdivisions. So it's nice and smooth. Okay. Good to go. Our speaker is complete. So there we go. Speaker is totally done. We have all the detail complete. So let's go ahead and get this exported out. Select all this stuff, Alt and right click, and let's go ahead and let's merge it into one object. Knock the point tolerance all the way down and delete the original. And let's rename this to speaker, freeze modeling on it, select the speaker, go up to file, export, dot XSI, hit OK, and of course make sure the name is speaker, hit OK, and done, we're finished.